Hi there, it's Elaine here and today I wanted to create a collage using Jovi from Creating with Jovi. She has a monthly prompt that she uses and this month it's retro, hashtag retro. And so the prompts for that title is fun and fashion or fashion and fun whatever so I thought I'd give it a go I'd not done one before and I fit well this year I've been following Jovi and I I she what she makes she does collages obviously for a for a monthly prompt and she also does other mixed media stroke journal making and journaling and things like that so I decided to give it a go and I'm using my navy altered book and I thought I would I've got my, I've got my new uh, clips now I thought I'd use this page now I'd set up this page quite a while ago and I, I love these uh, papers they're really really pretty and colorful and so I thought these were fun to use and I thought this would this is a kind of ideal time to use the page and I think they're eight by six yeah they're six which is 15 by 21 which is eight and a quarter shall we say and I stuck them in. They they were from the same uh, scrapbook paper pad. I get them from. I get quite a lot of my paper and that from the works here in the UK. And they're really really pretty and colourful, and I love them. So I thought I'd use this page today. So what I've done is I've gone through some of my fashion ladies and I decided to kind of go with a more 60s type theme I suppose I don't know short skirts that type of fun stuff so I found some I haven't cut them out yet so I found some fun images of girls that are wearing all sorts of fashion that have sort of short skirts uh, dresses whatever and i mean she's got a nice funky hairstyle i love her blue hair she's got massive earrings and these are shorts and under a kind of well you can see what they are really can't you <laughs> so i thought i'd just spread them out over the page i wanted them to sit on flowers uh, and this over this side uh we can put them sitting on top of a flower really but this side is not quite so easy because it's a hanging down one but i think uh, i think it'll work so i'm going to go away and and cut them out and then i might just add some bits and pieces to it just to decorate them up and make it a little bit more fun so i'll be back once i've cut them out because you don't need to watch me cutting them out of course <laughs> well i cut them out and they seem to be disappearing a little bit i mean they do show up a bit when i put them in to the uh, flowers but i decided let's move them off for a minute i decided i'm going to use a big flower for them to sit in so i've cut these out I'm going to leave them going across the page at the moment. I don't know. I'm not sure whether I'll cut that one off or not. I haven't decided that. Uh, this side, we have this one. And again, I have actually... Have I done this? Something like this, I think. And then this one, I want to put under there like that. I wanted some exotic flowers as well. 
I mean, these are basically got roses and uh, normal garden flowers in. But I fancied having some... Oh, I've just spotted something that needs a bit of a trim up. That's not very good there. It's funny. So we'll chop that bit out. Like that. Obviously, I didn't want to take too much off in case um, it fell off. Well, this one did. <laughs> I, I cut through too far but I, I decided it's probably for the best because it means that I can place it where I want it to go so it fits better because it would have been right up here somewhere I think so I chopped a bit out of there it is this stalk but uh, I don't know whether I like that around there I keep seeing bits my cutting is dreadful really I get I get tired, my back starts to ache and my hands, so I get a bit fed up. These ones, because they're quite a dark flower, they probably don't really need the border. But there was lots of intricate bits on, especially like this one's hair. I didn't want to cut all that out, so I thought I'd I thought I'll leave the border a bit on these, but they really don't need it because the background is quite busy and so they stand out really well so I'm just going to take bits off that are much too big and just neaten it up a little bit I think I just neaten, neaten the girls up because I cut them out and I thought oh I keep finding bits and pieces that I hadn't done very well I usually do cut things twice, partly because I find it difficult doing that side, going up that way. So I cut them out and then go back down. Because if they're still in the paper that they come off of, they're a bit of a devil to cut around. There we are. That's a bit better. Ooh, I didn't do that side, did I? Ooh. This is what I mean, see, you have to kind of go in that way And I'm always worried I'm going to chop most of the what I want off <laughs> So I usually do generously Do it generously That'll do, that'll do I think Otherwise I end up taking too much off and then I lose the shape of the leaf or something So that'll do that one's still attached, but this one will be over the top like this. Like that. So it's all about getting that on. I think I'm going to bring it down here a bit. And this one. This is why I'm not sure if I'm going to take this one off. It'll be alright if it goes underneath, but I'm not quite sure if I like it going underneath. Oh, get all my little fluffy bits that I've just cut off of. So my plan is to head this one out through here and this one I want quite low so the girls on this side haven't haven't got a stand in. Uh, I think I had her over here somewhere. Because she's blue she stands out quite well. I didn't really want her on the red side really so I'm going to put her here somewhere this one I wanted on this side because this is I don't want on the pink flower I haven't quite worked out where she's going yet I think she might be better over here there's flowers for her to sit on over this side, but not over this side, so. I changed my mind. I originally had a different flower, and I'd sort of semi-worked out where they were going. But now I've got these flowers, I haven't worked out where they were going. <laughs> right. I think what I'll do is I'll stick the flowers down and then figure out where the girls are going. I think that's probably the best option. And I need to decide on whether I'm going to keep this or not. I think I prefer it without. So I'm going to take it off. Oh, 
There we go. You're gone. And then I can have this as far over as I want. Obviously, I'll chop the end off. Uh, keep you in frame. And I quite like this going over the page because it's pretty solid. And I'd like that on top and going over that one. Yeah. I think that one about there. And I'll just chop off the bottom. Hmm. Yes. Glue. Glue, glue, glue. Which one shall I stick down first? Oh, this is all one. The only thing that's going under there is the stalk. So, what I could do is just stick it to this one. I think that's a good idea. Right, where do I want this? About there. So, if we stick that one onto there, like that. And then I can stick this bit onto here, just the tip, don't, don't pucker it up, oh, now I've done it, stop it, stick where I put ya, right, let's get rid of the cloth, it's already sticking down, I've obviously gone a bit too far, but it'll be it'll be covered up in a minute. Right now, I can glue the whole of this down. Let's put the stalk down. Um, it's another lovely day here today. It's um, Bank Holiday Monday in the UK, uh, which is the 31st, which is when I'm supposed to put this up. I'm still doing it. But I had a, I won't, um, I won't do that bend yet. I need to make sure I've got it in the right place first. So... Kind of want it about there, I think. I've glued all that bit and I didn't need to. That was silly. Never mind. What needs to stick will. <laughs> and I'll cut the rest off. Quite a lot, really. And there, there's one. Let's just take it off so that I don't glue the pages together. Maybe it'll be better if I cut it off. Yeah, so that's not quite in the right place now, is it? That bin. Right, we'll let that sit for a minute. Let's pop this one on. About there, I think. So I'm going to chop the end off. No, I don't want. So I've got a better idea where I want it then. So as you can see, I've got my pink um, cutting mat out. On the other side, it's lilac. It's, I, dis I was cutting out the insides of here with my knife it's not brilliant because I broke the tip of my knife which wasn't very helpful and all the blades are up in the house so that's no help is it right so I won't end up putting glue on something I don't need that's the plan <laughs> let's do this bit first 
Oops. Now I've got a big bubble. Stupid thing. Right, let's stick you down. It's coming out all over the place because I put it too high. Luckily you didn't see that bit. I think it's all stuck. <sighs> we think it's all stuck. in that groove there and uh, I think I've split it oops so that's them down now I think I think I've got it all I think I need to cut that off now so where to put our ladies see they can sit on the leaves I like the blue one over here because actually there is no blue in the in the background so I think I'd like her to be quite noticeable I think I'll bring you down here a bit you can stand on that leaf over there maybe I think she needs to be on this one she gets a bit lost over here and it's just deciding where we're going to put these I think maybe she could go in there I like her here because she's there is this sort of similar goldy colour in the flowers I've already named it I'm calling it dancing in the flowers well, I was going to say the flower jungle because it's a bit jungly, isn't it? With all them hanging down. It's fun, isn't it? Fun, fun, fun. That's what it should be. Fun and fashion. So I think maybe they're a bit 80s, 90s, but with the 60s feel. So we could call it 60s or we could call it 80s, 90s, really. But... I did try and choose all mini type skirts, dresses, whatever. I know these are shorts and she's got leggings on, but the dress part is mini still. So, yeah, I think we'll, should we do that? Or should we put her down here in the flowers? I think maybe she needs to go down there. She doesn't stand out as well, that's the only trouble, because she's white. does stand out better over here though does she yeah we could put her there like maybe we'll have three over this side and just the two over here I can drop her down I like the blue in the pink that's nice maybe we'll do that shall we yes what do you think I think I prefer the three because these suit this side better and they stand out much easier on that side. I've still got glue on my mat already. First time I've used it, first time I used it I got it out the bag. I've had it for quite some time and I've been meaning to bring it up here so that I can have it for cutting out on so yeah I don't know whether it's a bit too bright really but I thought it suited the uh, the, the 
spread quite nicely, <laughs> doesn't it? Let's glue them down. Let's glue you. So we'll put them here like this. Dancing in the flowers. Or dancing in the flower jungle. Or dancing in the jungle. Something like that anyway. Right, I've left me top off, but never mind. Let's start with her. We'll work across the page, then I won't muck it up. Where they go? Right, that's that one. Let's do Blue Girl. She reminds me of, um, I don't know if any of you know the um, Space 1999. They used to wear purple and pink and, and some of them had blue wigs on that were sort of that shape. <laughs> yeah, she reminds me of that. My husband likes watching things like that. They were doing a... A rerun of it on one of her, one of the channels. I can't remember which one it was. Because we have Sky TV, so we can get some of the American channels on it, Fox and various. We get Sky Atlantic, which is a lot of American shows that they show here. You can get there. And Goldie can go here. I did have a, a Mondrian dress girl somewhere. I can't find it. I thought it was cut out as well. I can't find her. And I'd have to print a whole sheet because they come, they are a, a digital download that I got from is this one bom mom bom bom or oh what's the other one called I can never remember the other one I bought two two sort of fashion type obviously I I love 50s fashion but I thought let's do something different and I had these they're all they're all printed out already and that's why I think she's somewhere but I'm just not sure why she's not in my folder with my other girls so i think we'll put her about here somewhere i think there we are that's them down and Basically, we're done. We are done. That's what I thought I would do for the hashtag retro and the prompts are fun and fashion. So I thought this was quite fun and that's definitely fashion. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, makes a change to do a short one for me, doesn't it? Usually they're really long. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye for now.